In an alternate universe, you woke up tomorrow. You were a man. You were a black man. Describe in as much detail physical attributes, mental attributes, financial attributes. You go whichever way you want to go. What type of man would you be? Good night. <laughs> it's a good question, right? It is a great question. I will be a hoe. <laughs> I'm being honest. Like, I will be a hoe. I want to explain this thing. When I wake up, I want to wake up like, I want to see how it feels, you know? I want to, you know, be packing. Okay. Yeah. My first, like, whenever I'm having a conversation, just choking around, like, I'd be one of those men that ain't shit. One of those ones that, you know, love them, leave them, do my thing because it's easier to be a guy in my head. Okay, athletic. Not necessarily an athlete, but, you know, everybody want a fine-ass man or whatever. I like a bigger guy. I'm 6'1", um, so that takes a lot of candidates out right there. <laughs> Height is a factor for me. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably be a square, honestly. I'd be like super nice and kind. I'd probably read Harry Potter. <laughs> I feel like I'd be like a guy version of me, but with guy, with man conditioning. What kind of man would I, what kind of man? <laughs> oh. I would be the type of man that is very nurturing, can really um, sense my significant other, people around me, sense their energy, sense their vibe. Like I just had that nature of being a provider, not like financially, but mentally and spiritually. Probably the average person wouldn't look at me and think that I was like a masculine man because I don't think that I'd be like er, aggressive or whatever, but I still think that I would be like a protector type. Uh, but yeah, I think I'd be like nerd boy mixed with like athlete mixed with like a sweetie pie family person kind of situation. Hey, like I have a four year old son, so it's like I'm trying to raise him. You know, I know the statistics, what statistics say about black men. Um, you know, just him being a, a young black boy, like, are you right? I don't know. As a woman, I really can't even say what type of man I would want to be if I woke up tomorrow. I just would want to at least, at least have some of my adults in a row be able to provide, be a, be something, be somebody. Wake up and be somebody. I don't want to wake up and be nobody. I know too many nobodies. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. I don't know. I mean, I would say I get up, shower, get myself together, make sure I take care of my skin, make sure my hair looking good, make sure I'm dressed well, and then Hop in a car and go to work? I, I don't know. Like a nigga that can go to work in a suit can be the same nigga that get off work and put that Nike suit on and fucking go hoop with his boys. That can be the same dude. I'm gonna get up, do what niggas do. Get in the shower, get out the shower. Probably not put on any lotion. <laughs> Cause obviously y'all don't put on lotion. I'm gonna go out to the mall and pick up some shorties, get their number. I'm gonna hit up a couple of them later. I'm gonna get one for, one for lunch, no, one for brunch, one for lunch, one for dinner. See where they headed. And whichever one I like the best, I'm smashing her that night. Like, yeah. But if I'm putting it into real terms and thinking like, if I woke up tomorrow, what kind of man would I wanna be? I'd wanna emulate the men in my life that make me remember and make me have the, the sense that all men aren't bad. Um, men like my brother, like Seth Lee, people like that. I'd want to be a man of value, integrity, someone who put family before everything else and then work second. Because to me, a man who doesn't work doesn't eat. <laughs>
Now get it, let's just get it straight now. My husband was all of that, but that's, I didn't think of that though. I still was attractive to, to him and he just happened to be the man, you know. But um, I don't even know if that's real. <laughs> I hear people say that, but I think women, and my husband always go back and forth with me on this and y'all can do it too. But um, I think women just want men to love them. And I think if the right man shows up and loves them without all these terms and conditions, that they'll submit to that man. It just has to be genuine and organic. But in the meantime, if I got to go out there and look for him, okay, he has to be six feet. He's got to be attractive. He's got to be this. He's got to be that. And so that's how we miss each other. Um, I don't think I'll be very different from what I am as a woman. At least I don't hope or I don't think so. Um, I think my general attributes about myself, my authenticity, my um, care for people, and like my core values would remain the same. I don't know. I, I would be the man that I would want to date, I think. Oftentimes, what I see is a bunch of men out here taking advantage of women that are my friends, people that I love and cherish and know deserve better. So I said one with core integrity values, one who works hard, one who gives back because a lot of the great men that I know are ones who don't just rest on being great to themselves and the people that are closest to them. They're ones that give it back to the community. They start foundations to help other young black men in situations to mentor them, teach them, educate them. So I think I'd, I'd be one of the upstanding ones. The type of man, I don't know, I look, I would look at myself like, like a, a superhero. So tall, six foot, broad shoulders, dark, um, like midnight, deep voice, very piercing eyes to get to your soul. And uh, I wouldn't wear a cape, not at all but you would see the six pack. And I would really hold myself to a high regard as if I'm just unfazable. And um, I just, when I think about a black man and what black, what black men mean to me, I would put me in the essence of a superhero, if that makes sense. Cause I don't know, that's how I see you guys. I know for me, it took me a lot of growing and learning before I started gravitating towards that kind of dude because I was used to my dad. I, this is maybe going to be really bad, but he's probably never going to watch this. So my dad is kind of like that, like center of attention, life of the party, super charismatic, like can pull any girl he wants kind of dude. And I think that's just what I was attracted to because that's who my dad was. And that's how I thought that men were supposed to be. And um, I got older and I started learning that my dad was really not the kind of man that I wanted to date at all. I uh, really wouldn't recommend anybody dating him, but he is married currently. So I hope they are doing well. But um so I started trying to, I started figuring out what mindset changes I really needed to make in order to have the kind of relationship I actually desire to have. I would love to be an entrepreneur. Like that's what I am. So as a male, I would definitely be the same. So maybe not necessarily clocking into work, but going to do whatever my prospective duties would be for my job, for my business. Um, and then just like getting up with, I guess my boys afterward, I don't know, like get a couple drinks. <laughs> I don't know what y'all be doing. Like, I don't got a man, so. Okay. T tell me about the attributes um, that would make the male version of you distinct from the female version of you. So, for instance, like if you're sensitive, I would also want him to be sensitive or I would be less sensitive. Like what, what are the Oh, yeah. no, absolutely less sensitive very more um, logical, 
because I'm really am trying to tap into that part of me to get more logical because I can tend to be overly sensitive and act like a crybaby. Cry um, I think the, the sense of or the urge to have power would be a little bit um, exemplified if I was a man. I don't think I would be, I don't want to say power hungry, but I would. I would want to climb any kind of ladder, any kind of corporate ladder to be at the top. So I would. I kind of think as a woman, um, I, I kind of subdue that a lot because it does bring on a lot of masculine traits that I can have. So I try to kind of relax and try to let other people lead. But I have so many ideas and things that I can see and how things can work. So I try to, it's weird, but I try to get that across, but still try to be a woman because God knows I can be a little overbearing maybe sometimes. Um, I think probably the things that I already, or I feel like I may lack now, which would be a little bit more confidence because that's something that I admire in men. and. Not that I don't admire it in women, but I feel like it's more acceptable in guys to have like that dominant energy that like, I don't want to say alpha male because that sounds kind of toxic, but like that alpha figure, like where you can kind of like can dominate a room. I think I would really like want my male version to tell me like that. Yeah. Don't nobody want no soft dude, no punk. Everybody want, like I said, protection. I want to feel safe with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be able to, remember that movie, Temptation? And them dudes was harassing them and he ain't do nothing and she went home feeling so vulnerable and unsafe because he didn't do his job as a man and beat them niggas up. Regardless if he was gonna get jumped, it was five of them, however, it was the, the, the effort into wanting to protect your girl, that's all that matters. Even if you can't even fight for real, at least, Go into it knowing that you showing her that you gonna like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he has to be he has to be relatively attractive or what you would find attractive. Yeah, what I would find attractive. His beard has to connect, different yeah. things like that. Um there's solutions for that. Do, do, you, yeah, do you have a light skin, dark skin preference? I used to think I have one, but no. Not okay, really. cool. <laughs> um he has to be in decent physical shape, right? Not morbidly right. obese or not morbidly, but I like big. I okay. like bigger guys. <laughs> okay, cool. So you're a little flexible there. Okay. Um, what percentage of the population is this black man that I just described? Probably like two. <laughs> In our community, we a lot of times we hear about everything that's wrong with black men, so. I could ask a woman, who's your ideal black man? But I think when it, you put them in the shoe of become your ideal black man and describe him and make it make sense, it makes it, you know, it drives the point, you know, yeah. home. Um, so, like, what, what do you think are some challenges that the male version of you would have? <sighs> Uh, the male version of me. That's a good question. I don't... You know, I would, I would probably say um, maybe monogamy. Break that down. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. I would. Because I, I know how I would command the attention. And I know women would really fawn over me because they easily would just fawn over someone that pays them no mind, that they look up to. And me being a superhero, of course, it would be falling all over me. And I think I would bask in the attention. I wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. 
I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. Sublime.